Okay, so let's work on this one together step by step, and then I'm going to give you one just like it that you're going to work on alone. This is a multi step percent problem, and it's much more challenging than the previous ones that we just did. Um, the first task that we have to do is find the new price. And that's basically the first line here about how Jenny is looking to impress Vidirbu. She spots a dress on sale for 25% off of the original price of $179.99. All of the stuff about the 8.5% sales tax and everything, that's not the first step. The first step is to find the sale price. And as often as usual, we begin with the uh, percent proportion. Percent over 100 is the part over the whole. So it wants to know the new price. And one of the things that we have been working on is the idea of a and not a adding up to a hundred percent or a whole so it says in this problem here that it's on sale for 25 percent off so i ask if you're going to take 25 percent off what percent are you going to pay well you're going to pay 75 percent so I'm not going to put a 25 here. I'm going to put a 75 here. Now I'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. But for now, you are paying 75% of the cost because 25% of the cost you are not going to pay. Um, what is that 75%, that part of the cost? That's what we're trying to figure out. Out of the whole cost, which was 179.99. Cross multiply, run the numbers, 100x equals 13,499.25, dividing by 100, and I get $134.99, which means that the sale price of the dress is $134.99. So by taking a first step and saying, look, I'm going to take off the 25% right away and say, okay, if I'm saving 25%, I am paying 75%. And that's how I'm going to solve the problem. But that's not the only way. You could also say, well, let me figure out what 25% of the cost is. Uh, if you did that, it would be, I guess, about $45 even. And then you would have to subtract that $45 from the original cost of the dress because that's your discount. And guess what you'd get? $134.99. So either way, you're going to arrive at the same answer. The question to me is, would you rather do a quick and easy subtraction, 25 from 100 to 75, or would you rather do a more potentially involved subtraction? I prefer to do quick and easy. So that's why I go with the 75, okay? Um, now, that's the first part. Now they want to find out the cost of the, the price with the sales tax. But in order to do that, I first need to figure out what the sales tax is. It says in the problem, you're paying 8.5% sales tax. So again, begin with the percent proportion, set it up, cross multiply. Let's see if you can get the tax and then I'll show you the correct solution after that. Go ahead. Okay, so there's my 8.5% goes in the percentage place. And the tax is the part of the whole cost. I don't know what the tax is, so I leave a T for tax. And let's just do some cross multiplying here. 100 T equals 1147.415, dividing by 100, and I get $11.47. Okay. But what does that mean? Well, the question was, can well, first off, she's really, really, really smart, and she refuses, absolutely refuses to put anything on a credit card. So she won't do that. Credit cards are flat out evil. Now she backs it off and she gets, um, what should we call it? She has 150 bucks in her pocket. Can Jenny afford the test, the, the dress? So I got to add the dress and the tax, see how much that comes to. Comes to 146.46. Lo and behold, Jenny can afford the dress. All right. So what I am going to do at this point in time is give you a little stop and start moment on the next slide to see how you do. Um, I'm going to probably walk away from a, the screen for about two minutes to get my dog in because she's barking. And you work on this. And then um, when you hear my voice come back in, if you're not done yet, do stop and start.
Okay, you're probably not done yet, so I suggest that you go into stop and start mode, and then I'll go over the correct answers with you in a moment my time. Okay, so same process as before. The first thing we do is need to find the sale price. This time it's 20% off, so you could figure out 20% of the cost and then reduce it or subtract it from $179.99. As you know, I personally prefer to just say, look, if I'm taking 20% off, I'm paying 80%. So I like to set the proportion up where my percent is 80 and I derive, arrive directly at the answer. The whole cost is $179.99. I cross multiply. 100 times X is 100X. 80 times $179.99 is $14,399.20. Dividing by 100 and I get $143.99. So if you take off... 20% uh, instead of 25, it's a little bit more. It's $143.99. Now you got to pay tax. And notice the tax is 8.75%. So I put 8.75% in this place over 100 for percent. And I don't know what the tax is out of the new cost, which is $143.99. Same cross multiply thing. 100 times T is 100 T. 8.75 times $143.99 comes up with 1259.9125 dividing by 100 and I get $12.60. This rounds up because of the 599, okay? All right, so now I got to see, can this dress be afforded? Can Jenny handle the cost of the dress? Well, um, I've got to add together the dress plus the tax, which adds up to 156.59. I changed the amount. She has 160 in her pocket this time. So yes, she can afford it again. So those are two much more involved uh, percent problems where we used algebra to be able to help figure them out, okay? Um, the next slide up begins with geometry. So this is a convenient point to break and finish our second video for Lesson 12.